Hello. It's Monday, guys. Guess what time it is. It's time for Headlines. Boom. Welcome back, guys. This is Chris. I'm Barry. Um, first, we're going to start off uh, talking about the guy on the front page of the Sun today. This is uh, Mr. Hockey Gordy Howe. He passed away at the age of uh, 88. Um, now, we've lost a couple uh, sports legends in the past week or so. Last week, it was Muhammad Ali. This week, it is uh, Mr. Hockey. Now, I just want to uh, just... These two guys are legends. Absolute legends because they changed the face of their sport. They changed the... Like, in Muhammad Ali's case, he was very political in his beliefs and stuff like that. A um, very outspoken person who stood up for rights of many people. And I just want to make sure that, you know, we as a society aren't throwing around the word legend too much. These two people, legends. Absolutely. But then we had, you know, Akimbo Slice pass away. And some people were calling him a legend. And it's like, well... Or even the word superstar... In his case, which I don't believe he was. You know what I mean? He was an internet star, and he uh, parlayed that into a but little bit of a fighting career. He failed miserably. What he, he? Yeah, exactly. What he failed miserably at, and he was part of one of like the worst fights ever for MMA, right? So I just, you know, it, it sucks when you do lose, lose legends like Gordie Howe and Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. They deserve all the praise. But when we lose other people that win... And we just throw around that word legend. It's like, what truly makes a legend? You know what I mean? Well, those two. Well, yeah, absolutely. When you look at Gordy Howe, when you think of hockey, legends. you think of Gordy Howe, Wayne Gretzky. Yep. You know, well, my generation, my age, somebody my age, that's we think of Wayne Gretzky. You know, Gordy Howe. Now Sidney Crosby is going to be thrown into that and stuff like that. When you think about boxing, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Before boxing became irrelevant. <laughs> you know, and when you think of like MMA, you think of um, like I George think St. Pierre. Yeah, it's George St. Pierre. Um, I, I know Ken Shamrock's name, but he's like a joke now. Um, I don't really follow MMA, so that's kind of a bad example for me. <laughs> yeah, well, this is it, the only one that sticks out to me. Okay, uh, here in Alberta, uh, the NDP government has is going to follow suit with a Quebec uh, ruling that uh, is going to give sentient. Uh, status to pets. Now, the whole reasoning behind this is that they want to be able to punish people that actually harm animals oh better, right? Um, so, you get you make a pet sentient. That means uh, you can harsher sentences, harsher fines, uh, and things like that. <clears throat> now, I, I get it. The, you know, if somebody hurts an animal, we want to be able to punish them more. Um, but, what should just be done one is make the law, laws harsher and make sure the judges are actually handing out sentences we can't we're just like trying to blanket everything you know what I mean here's a one law that can pertain to everything when we should be going case by case on each of these things you know what I mean it should be like you know so what happens if I run over a cat if you give uh, 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 them rights if I run over a human being I could be charged with murder I and run if over you a do cat the same th- yeah now I could be charged with murder, murder. even and though it was a complete accident it's yeah. like okay whoa you know like well I, and, and and again um, uh, you're hearing us use the word slippery slope because things are starting to become slippery there's too out many there. of them in this there are now. um it, a great example of this is that, um, one, the federal government is actually trying to do the same thing. They're trying to make it so uh, animal cruelty is uh, elevated in status so that people are punished more. It's like, one, again, just make the laws harsher. You know, that's they're already there. We already have anti... Enforce them. That's all we got to do. You two, know, enforce them. And three, judges who hand out sentences make them harsher. For sure. It's, it, it, there, there's, because judges are really lenient here in Canada by comparison. There's too many gray areas. Or oh, wait, should I say pink, blue? Um, I, I just don't want to offend anybody with that comment. You know what I mean? Do you see? You, you know, like it needs to be more black and white, or yellow and green, red and blue. Um, I, I, I'm not sure which one to use anymore because of the slippery <laughs> slope we're on. Man, woman. Uh, trans, uh, trans, trans non. How many bathrooms do we need now? I build my business. I need fourteen bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> what? I identify as a bird. 
Well, there's a bird bath out back then, you idiot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it's one of those things that's happening in the news, and it's just like, yeah, we don't we just need, need this. Stop. We just need to stop. We just need to stop. We, that's all we need to do is we just, a society, whoa, whoa, it's not that hard. We don't have to make it difficult here. Yes, we love our pets. Our pets are like our family. I have two cats. I love them like my family. They're a pain in my ass. Am I going to be sad when they die? Of course. Yep. But would I, like, want somebody to go to jail for murdering my cat? Well, I would probably just murder them. Depending on how they murdered it. If they accidentally ran over it, I understand. You know, just pay for disposal fees. You know, that'll make up for it. But if you actually go out there and... Steal my cat. Steal my cat, skin it, hang it from a tree, let it flap in the wind for children to see... That you should be punished for. Absolutely. So, you know, I think exactly it should be a case by case, and we already have laws in place to. Yeah, we do. We just have to care enforce them. That. that that that's a problem that we're running into is we have all these laws, but then we keep making more, and it's like, uh, but that law and that law cover it, yeah. and it actually has a better punishment than the law you're kind of making right now. Yeah. Um, as we talked about uh, a couple of few episodes back. Check us out on YouTube. Um, we uh, we talked about the uh, assisted suicide in, in, in Canada. Now we we're going to pass a bill. Um, mm, maybe we might pass a bill. Well, as of uh, two uh, 12, doctor assisted suicide is legal in Canada now, as of Tuesday. Uh, yeah, ju- yeah, June 6th. Um, this past week. Um, now, obviously, there's still going to be some questions that still have to be hammered out. like um, Which is what a federal law is trying to do right now um the first question that there are there's seven questions that that i found on the internet that that are gonna be out there that should be answered hopefully by we're gonna trust the government to answer these questions i i don't know why um we uh we outlined what we think we we should uh, happen with the uh assisted suicide in the previous video yep and you can go check that out if you'd like um but uh should a only patients who are already dying be allowed to die is a question Mm-hmm. And it's like, um, pretty much they're saying that people who are um, terminally ill terminally ill, and their uh, reasonably foreseeably death is in their future. Like AL, ALS uh, patients, because we know that it's just a really, really bad, uh, um, ugly future in store for the them. The bottom line is this. These seven questions that I read, I'm not going to go through them all. Um, these seven questions that I read could be... Um, could be completed with the solution that we saw mm-hmm. in the video. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll link that video down below so you can go check it out. It's a very interesting video. We talked about it because there was two cases in Canada where two people were granted the right to die. Check it out. Okay. Um, now, the fire in Fort Mac, um, even though the uh, fire itself around in the town of Fort Mac is uh, officially done and over. People are moving back and cleaning up. The fire still kind of rages on. Now, there's been a bit of a fire kerfuffle here in Alberta. Uh, There have been 300 South African firefighters that have been flown over here to help fight the fire. Uh, Apparently, there's some... uh, They are heading home because of a pay dispute. Um, Now, there's been some uh, discrepancies between um, what... The firefighters are saying they're getting from their bosses to what Alberta is saying that we were supposed to pay them. Now, the firefighter bosses are saying they were supposed to get uh, $15 um, a day plus $35 when they get back for fighting the fire. So 50 bucks a day. But uh, according to Alberta law, we basically were supposed to pay them $21 an hour for an 8-hour shift. So... Um, 170 bucks, right? So there's a big difference between $50 and $170. So I guess these 300 firefighters are going home. Because they're not getting... They're not getting paid according to what Alberta says we're supposed to pay them. Oh, they're not getting the $8, $21, $21 an hour? Or $160? Yeah, dollars yeah they're, they're supposed to get $170 a day. Yeah. Now, uh, oh. at the NDP... Um, uh, government and said this is what we're supposed to pay them this is alberta law but uh um, fire the firefighters are saying no we're only getting 50 bucks and it's just like you know that's a bit of a difference so they're all being sent home and uh, there's a big 
uh, kerfuffle. So who's of it? Ma, that's silly. Uh, I think it has to do with um, the people who are in charge of sending the firefighters are over are saying, oh yeah, we're only paying them $50 a day. Mm, and so Alberta blocking. law, yeah, so mm. there's a possibility of some underhandedness there. I say possibility because, again, you only can get so much out of people. And and again, it's one story, two stories, and you got to figure out what the actual truth is in the middle. Transparency. Uh, that's true. Transparency doesn't always work, though. Mm. As uh, the Trudeau government has been... Uh, no government's transparent. No, but the Trudeau Jesus. government uh, ran on an election campaign of we want transparency in the government. Didn't every government, though? Doesn't every government at some point say the government needs to be more accountable, more transparent? Uh, at some point, every uh, government says that. Right? Um, the conservative government has said that, that they have to be accountable, not necessarily transparent. Same thing, really. Mm. Accountability, transparency. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's along the same. Speaking of liberal MPs, a uh, liberal MP at the age of 73, he got married, his wife is 27. Um, Wonder why that woman married this dude. <laughs> this is why he married. she married him. Uh, he died, and the wife is entitled to a widower's pension at $19,700 a year. For the rest of her life. What's that a month like? Fourteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, somewhere, somewhere around there. there. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. So if she lives to the age of ninety, she will earn two point four million dollars. Joke. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of one. What an absolute one. joke. What an absolute joke that is. You yeah. know, this is this is what I mean about like. Big government, like you, you know these these politicians get uh, pensions for life, or you know like pensions and p- plans and severance packages and this and that. When they're out of office, it's like, well, one of the horrible things about the the MPs in federal is the government will match two dollars for every one dollar an MP puts into their RSP. No, take care of yourself. Like once you're out of office you're done. Go get a real go get a job. Well most of them do. Yeah, but most of them do and then are filthy rich because they're getting they're sucking on the government tea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yes. I don't I don't know exactly the packages that they get, but I I'm I know they're good. Yeah, no, no, like, they, they definitely get a nice severance. I'm sure Mr. Sure. Prime Minister Harper, ex-Prime Minister Stephen Harper, is not living a paycheck-to-paycheck life of, no, definitely you know. Not. He's, he's, that also comes down to being good with your money, too. Right? Well, yeah, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, but he probably gets a pension or some sort of monthly. But don't forget the pension doesn't kick in until they're pay. like 60, 65. I'm sure he still gets some sort of... Uh, well, no, no, he'll, he'll, he, they, they get a severance... Then after their severance is done, they have to find another job and their pension will kick in. I'm sure he gets... They double dip. They're doing something. There's... No. uh, What's he going to argue too far? I just want to know what he's doing now. What is... Oh, he's he's retiring. Yeah. From politics. He's retiring from politics. He's retiring. How old is he? No, he's 55. Are you going to retire at 55? If I could afford to uh, retire when I was 55, damn Are right. Are you going to, though? No, I can't. I exactly. I can afford it. Exactly. I'm never retiring. I'm going to fall dead at work. Yeah. One yeah. Day. <laughs> Just boom. <laughs> I'll fall dead on the show, probably. <laughs> That'll be entertaining. I'll carry on. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Barry? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. like a puppet. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Government sucks. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There's my old stance. Yep. Yeah. I got no more headlines. So we oh, you don't? Oh, I thought oh, I thought you actually hit a bunch. Okay, so... <laughs> Me, come for... <laughs> oh, come on. You actually you're, have a list there. You're, no, this was just my notes from what I was reading. Oh, okay. You, okay. come on. We, we know in this show, let's be real here. You're the one who comes with pages of notes. I come and go, all right, give me the headline. I'll react to the headline. No, uh, no that's, that's exactly I'm the way how we do things. That's I'm how we skimmer do of the article. Okay, so, um... Robot sex. Um, apparently, it's one step closer to becoming a reality. There is a company out there that is accepting pre-orders for uh, animated dolls uh, at seven thousand dollars a pop. What's wrong uh, with that? Uh, I guess you know if you want to have sex with a robot, go ahead. Uh, well, uh, 
Yeah, that's that's a, that's so a little weird. Bit weird. That's like, the the really weird thing. It's like you know, I'm thinking it's like well, if a person wants to spend seven thousand dollars or ten thousand or hundred thousand dollars on a, a sex toy, they're allowed to, right? If that's how they want to spend their lives, and I can, they're allowed to. You know, maybe those aren't the type of people we want to procreate. Um, maybe we'll prevent like all those weird like people having babies then. You know what I mean? Maybe we would, uh, maybe, you know, instead of accidentally making a baby, you just into a robot and you're good to go. <laughs> so, and it was weird because the article immediately went into moral and ethical divide of this thing. And I'm like, uh, what moral and ethical? What, maybe what I'm there? just weird. What is know. there? Well, who cares? I don't care if you like to, all right, there's a couple things I care. I don't want you fucking children or dead bodies. That's like offside. But if you want to fuck robots or plastic toys or other willing human beings, go ahead. Hmm? Do whatever you want. Hmm? I don't care. I'm not going to come in and be like, you can't fuck that robot. Fuck away. Just just make sure you... Don't do it in public. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't start taking your robot on a date. Uh, well, you know I mean? maybe that's like, where some of the slippery slope is, is that, you know, people who will want to have sentient rights for robots. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Like Terminator here. This is great. Skynet, yeah. yeah. Skynet! Whatever. For those of you who don't know who Skynet, what Skynet is, watch the original Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. I just watched the, the, uh, the new... Genesis? Yeah, I just watched Oh, my the gosh, movie. you watched the movie? Uh, uh. I watch movies all the time. <laughs> Well, how was it? It was good. I didn't. I didn't mind it. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. Okay. No, I haven't seen it yet. So. Oh wow! I've seen a movie. I know. Oh, that's why I was like, oh, oh. Fuck. I actually watched Deadpool last night. So well, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. It actually it looked better on my on my TV than it did on the the it's movie screen because you can pause and go to the bathroom. That's true. Um, and the extras were actually really cool. Yeah, I don't yeah. watch the extras. I, I love the watching the extras. Okay. Um. Okay, so there is a, uh, a posty wars happening in Canada, uh, here in Calgary actually. Uh, the Shaw Building downtown and their neighbor, the Shaw Building put up a um, Mario Shaw mascot and a couple of other things using posty notes on their windows. And uh, uh, a weekend passed, and their neighbor responded with a Wario and an R2D2, and now Shaw is trying to step it up one notch. Nice. Which is kind of fun. Uh, great to see. I guess this was... As long uh, as it doesn't make my cable bill, it would be more expensive. <laughs> Very true. I guess uh, really this is in response... Not not necessarily in response, but uh, copied from... There's a posty war going on in New York. There's two buildings across from each other. I don't know what they're posting, but they're like filling up windows with posty notes and making little things and it just gets more extravagant from gotta, one side to another. You gotta make life interesting. You gotta make your day at work. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So to, to stick some... And, and considering up. the economic climate right now, there's a lot of thumb twiddling going around. There can be, At yeah. your job. And Shh, don't be saying that. We're busy all the time. What are you talking about? All the time. We're working hard. Even when we're slow. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> this past, our Fridays have really sucked where I work. Um, I went ahead t like two days early and booked a half a day, right? Just so I wouldn't have to jump through hoops on the day on the day of yeah. and go, can I leave early? I, I booked it off and I still didn't, wasn't the first one to leave early that uh, And it's just like, ah, oh, I, I do this. I jump through hoops and I still not the first one to leave early and just a guy goes, I don't wanna go and done. And he was just like ah. But 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 I wanted to go home early. <laughs> I didn't care if other people I just wanted to be the first but, one, but no. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, um this one's kinda scary. Um now hackers have found an unusual way to raise funds for themselves. Uh, there is uh, hacking programs that actually will lock uh, you out of whatever the systems you work. So the University of Calgary actually had a hacking incident where everybody was locked out of the University of Calgary operating system. 
And now yeah, I heard about that. They had to pay like twenty grand to get 20, it back or something. Twenty like thousand dollars to get a physical key, a passcode, so that they can enter it in and actually have access to their stuff, which is a very <laughs> That's crazy. Like twenty grand, and apparently, this is going on a lot. Don't keep your shit on the cloud or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, they they mentioned how it was could have possibly been done, and it was simply a matter of uh, somebody app open and then log in, and then they just the thing just went in and I know it's crazy how easy it, it, easy it is to like access stuff on other people's phones like I can go on my telephone and I can find somebody else's telephone if you know their password you can find their location and it's like it's scary you know it's very scary the technology we have uh, Big Brother is very predominant nowadays yes uh, okay so the last one I have is kind of funny um, a good Samaritan on horseback lassoed a thief running away uh, I guess a uh, thief stole a bike of a bunch of people were chasing him down. He was getting away, and uh, some guy was in the parking lot. He had a horse trailer and a horse, and, and he's like, oh, should I better help? He goes to the back, hops on his horse, chases him down, takes a lasso. Like the West. Lassos him, and uh, they, it's funny because the, the, somebody took a picture, and the thief is holding on to a tree, <laughs> and the horse is way off on the other side, and the... Uh, the, the guy's feet are lassoed, and he's just I'm lying on the, the ground. Thief didn't sue the guy who lassoed him. Uh, well, that could come later <laughs> on, but uh, no, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I think it's so. very interesting. There are some weird articles out there that get you and go, "Okay, that's funny," but not there's most of the, most of the newspapers is just bull crap. Oh, bad well, I like it. Uh, the one of the newspapers that uh, we both read actually has a good news page because one page, yeah, it's like five articles. Yeah, you know, but the, the, there are the, page the, there paper. are other articles in the paper that are can be classified as good news. But they actually had to specifically make a good news page just to counter how negative the news is nowadays. Yeah, but bad news sells. And that's speaking of other news, guys. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to us while you're here. Uh, we've got a couple more videos coming out this week. Uh, the first one is going to be about uh, the uh, rape case in the United States. We're going to give our opinion on that. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Rape case and rape culture. Yep. Uh, the second one, which will be on Wednesday, is about uh, some, uh, well, it's about a little bit of every, immigration, um, stuff like that. Yeah, check it out. Uh, we're we're going to post these. Hope you enjoyed Headlines. Because we enjoy headlines. Yes, we do. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, go to our Facebook page, wherever it's going to be. That's it. No, <laughs> Facebook is somewhere. Yeah, bam, good. bam, look, it's a new dance. This could be a trend. <laughs> this is going viral. <laughs> okay, I'm just being an idiot now. Yeah, Guys, thanks okay. a lot for tuning in. Yep. All two of you. Peace. <laughs>